What's good guys? It's your boy Emmanuel. Man, today I am super excited um, to be talking about this cinematography breakdown with you guys. Today I'm just going to touch on a little bit on how I was able to like this particular scene, some of the thought processes that were going through my head, and just some of the techniques that I used um, to get this particular look. Unfortunately, today you guys ain't going to be seeing my beautiful face, so this is just going to be your voiceover breakdown. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first things that we're going to talk about before we even talk about any light is composition. And just to go through it very briefly, a couple of things that I did in terms of my composition was I used the rule of thirds. And before this, I wanted to place my subject just slightly in the center, but slightly to the right and have her look in this way. So that way it acts as, you know, her eye line can act as a leading line to just make you kind of just focus your eyes on there. And then with this pattern, which I'm not gonna lie, was accidental, that also helped to create my line of reference right there. I also, one thing I also did in terms of composition was I shot into the L of the room, which is slightly behind her head and that just makes or even helps the um, scene to look more three-dimensional. Now let's focus on the lighting and some of the lights that I used um, to get this particular look. So the first section we're going to talk about is this section right here and this section right here. I had two lights to light the windows. One light was coming from the left side and one light was coming from the right side. The light on the left side that I used to light this particular part of this window was just a um, Godox SLW120 with a CTO gel in front of it, just simple. And then the light that I used to light this um, part of the window and also which was um, responsible for this pattern was a Clur a Lumimax 300 watt with the Fresnel lens attachment and I had a CTS straw in front of it that was responsible for getting these pretty cool patterns um, and right here which I am very proud of so that's pretty much it on the lights we use outside just very simple straightforward all right so now that we're done talking about the lights that I used to light up the windows let's talk about um, my key light for my key light, I knew I wanted a soft, warm look. And um, for the technique that I used to get that look was I used a technique called book lighting. So for me in this particular situation, I had um, my Forza 500 at 100% intensity with a CTS straw in front of it. I bounced that onto a 4x4 bead board and then I further diffused it with an 8x8 double layered unbleached muslin and around um just my book light i had black cloths and even underneath um the stands i had black cloths to really control the spill and to make sure that i wasn't getting any unwanted um spill on my talent's face so for this particular um light right there what i did was i boomed a pavo tube 30x set at um 3000 um degree Kelvin um, that was my temperature that I used on that one I um, mean I believe it was set at like 30 percent and I just um, I angled it so it doesn't get on her face it was just pretty much responsible for just lighting her neck her shoulders and just her hair and then the final light that I believe I used in this scene was my room tone light um, so what I did was right at the bottom I had a Pava 230X at 60% and I faced it up to the ceiling and that was that bounce from the ceiling was what helped me make the scene look as natural as possible. A couple other techniques that I used to really help elevate on um, the production value for this scene was I took baby oil and I just rubbed it all around my talon on her collarbone right there on her shoulders and just on her body. And what that does is once the light hits it, it helps to reflect it beautifully 
and it helps to just hold that shine and sheen on her body so pretty excited how that turned out but just pretty simple just baby oil on that another important part about lighting was not only adding light but taking away light and as you guys know me i'm i like my negative feel and i just like my black cloth and pretty much in this particular scene they played a huge part in everything that i did as I stated earlier on my book light setup, I had black cloth all around my book light and even on the floor to help control the spill. And then right to the right of her right here, I had a four by eight um, floppy um, to act as negative fill. And that was responsible for giving her this beautiful um, dark area on her right side of her face and just all over the place on the cabinets to the right. I had black cloth taped all, all around the cabinets to the left. I had black cloth um, and just everywhere black cloth because I just wanted to really control and really dial in this particular mood and scene for this particular shot. And the final thing that I added, which of course you can never forget, is I added haze. But for this, I didn't want the haze to be too intense, so I wafted it a little bit. But it just helped to really give it that dreamy vibe that I was going for. Alright guys, that is pretty much how I got this entire look. If you guys like this breakdown, please don't forget to like comment and just subscribe to my channel so that way i can continue to grow and bring some more dope content like this for you guys remember don't forget to keep learning keep practicing and keep growing until we meet again thank you and have a good day